Sari, I would love to get your thoughts on a couple questions that we frequently hear from students trip them up. Let's start with perhaps the scariest question. How should a student respond when an employer asks them to talk about their grades? Right, the grades question. So everyone hates this question and we all have a different Achilles heel. So one thing to think about is grades, you may feel that that's your Achilles heel. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. But if not, think about what your Achilles heel is. You could go several interviews without having that question posed to you. And then all of a sudden you're asked. And one of the worst things to do is to be surprised, to be defensive, and to be unprepared. Because people ask these questions for a variety of different reasons. Some people ask about grades because they're really interested in, in knowing. Um, Sometimes people take grades just as a yardstick of ability, so there's a lot you can say. And some people ask simply because they want to pose a fairly stressful question and gauge the way you advocate for yourself. Because in the final analysis, in an interview, employers have very little information about you. So the way you advocate for yourself is really the best, the only indication they have as to how you advocate for others. When I was in practice, I was pretty much a softie when I interviewed students, so I would always ask about grades. It was the only hardball question I would throw. And if they looked shocked, and you could see it, their face would go into lockdown, they would break eye contact, they would lead with a negative, which is, I don't believe grades are an accurate indicator of ability. From a rhetorical point of view, that's ineffective strategy. So be prepared know the question, make sure you make eye contact whenever you're answering a challenging question, even try to smile to break that facial paralysis that tends to happen when we get stressed. And remember, every question boils down to why should we hire you? So you wanna answer always the explicit question, tell me about your grades, but also the implicit underlying motivation, which is why should we hire you? What other abilities can you bring to the table? So you always want to make sure you're upfront and responsive. You don't want to beat around the bush and say, well, I don't believe grades are an indicator of ability and I did okay or I did fine and then move on. You want to say, you'll see I have a straight B average or you, I'm glad you asked. Great response, by the way, to a stressful question is turn it around, show that you're comfortable. Say, I'm really glad you asked. I wanted to talk to you about this. I felt good about my performance overall. I had a straight B, B plus average. There is one outlier on my transcript. Always nice if you can talk about an outlier. Always nice if you can talk about your grades having gone up over the course of the year, upward improvement. Great thing to point out. So you want to be upfront, responsive, say what your average is. And if you feel it doesn't market you to your best advantage, go on to point out what does. Place it in context. It was an outlier. Uh, explain how you actually did quite well, perhaps in the most practical skills related classes. Maybe you did very well in LWNR. Maybe you did very well in moot court. Maybe you aced your Civ Pro class. All essential components of being an effective litigator. And then go on to say, but what I really want you to know about myself in terms of uh, my indications of my ability to do good work for you is that I wrote on to journal, that I, that I was selected for Moot Court, that I'm an honors philosophy grad, that I have a past professional background, I have a past background in industry, working with the very clients you serve. And all of those factors speak to the type of work I could do for you. So, fundamental analysis, make eye contact. Smile if you can. Be prepared, be responsive, and go on to point out other indicators, academic, industry, leadership, which also speak to your skill set. And that's the best way to answer the grades question. Thank you, Sari.